Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We're here in uh, Tampa, Florida, uh, on a horde mission today. That went into, a, I guess, a deep depression here at this home. Kind of just left the home a disaster. They left water running inside the house, so it's a little flooded in there, so we're gonna have to extract that. What's the date on that paper? May 8th, 1945. Oh, boy. Oh, inside. Roach City. They're inside, inside the can. It. There's a lot. What do you want me to do with it? Open it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Big rat. Just ran across. What the fast. fuck? <laughs> as you think so far? No. I don't know what all this is though. It's like sewage or something. What, what the says? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was me, but then the thing hit me. I was like, oh my god, that's the biggest rat I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. So I moved the closet, but then Amanda thought it was a rat, and so then she backed up, but then the respirator hit me, and I thought it was a rat. <laughs> No. <laughs> I see what I'm going to <laughs> Okay, so there's still some valuables in here. Yeah. Is that the alarm? There's. Do you guys have elect? You have electric on. Yeah. So they actually had the power hmm. off, and they turned the power on in their name. So we turned it off, and then we turn it turn it back in our name. It was like a whole cluster. But yeah, we have. Okay, we've got mold. Well, probably because the power was off for a while. But there's mold on the um, built-ins. Pictures are in here, books, personal stuff. I don't see any rat droppings yet. So they cleaned it like this was covered in McDonald's cups here. They cleaned all of this out. Oh shit, big rat. Just ran across. Big, big rat. Oh, oh. Oh, that, was so size, that was the size of a cat. Oh. No way. Oh yeah, that was a good size. So it's coming from back there. Do we have any lights in here? Well, there's plenty for these rats to eat. Yeah. That's why they're still here. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's food everywhere. Mm -hmm. Those freezers are gonna be disgusting. Unless the power was off, there's two freezers. Oh, good lord. Quite the hoard. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So we've only seen one rat so far, that's not bad. Yeah, there's never just one though. <laughs> you see the bathroom yet? Yeah. Lights. I mean, I think these people got scammed because if they were true squatters, they would have drank the alcohol. There's where your rats are coming in. The cat doors. Yep. We have a shit ton in here. If they're coming in and out as they please. Stop. <laughs> where do they hide during the day? Like, where are they at right now in that trash? Yeah, they're eating. They're in the trash. Jesus. It's definitely been ransacked. Have you gotten in the safe to see if uh, her stuff is in there? Um, there's like a couple, like wedding rings. She's been married twice. Like, okay. There was some jewelry, but then there was some BS jewelry too, you know? Okay, so if for here, what I'm gonna do is leave the furniture, cause it looks good. And then I'll just take the mattress and box spring and throw that away. Okay. But you've got a full set of furniture in here. You can get something for that. Oh, this is... Like spoiled. Oh yeah, they cleaned all of this out. Like, do you see where there's like McDonald? That was all McDonald cup marks all over this. And that's they from her. Yeah, this is all from her. Like, they came in and cleaned all this out. You couldn't even see the sink. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God. Did you see the sink in the shower? Like, it looks like somebody lived at McDonald's. They turned off her power. <laughs> it was turned off for like six months, and she was living in her car in the driveway. All right, Daddy, take it away. All right, man. We're here in uh, Tampa, Florida, uh, on a horde mission today. That went into, a, I guess, a deep depression here at this home at the residency, and um, kind of just left the home 
a disaster. Had her power cut off, so she decided to camp out in her yard for about six weeks to almost three months, the lady said. And, uh, you know, it just let the trash build up and everything of that nature. And so we're here to remove that and extract water that's in there. They left water running inside the house, so it's a little flooded in there. So we're gonna have to extract that, clean that out, dry that out, and uh, remove all the trash. So it should be a very interesting job. We got a lot of critters in there, right? Yeah, we got a bunch of rats, live rats in there. So if you're screamish, man, this may not be the episode for you, but I guarantee you should stay tuned. It's gonna be very interesting today. I have myself today. Um, I have Griffin with me today. I have Fiona coming. I have Laura and um, uh, Eric coming to bring the dehues and extractors. So we're gonna, you know, get that started and, you know, try to make best of the day that we have today. Go from there. Your boy Thaddeus on the GoPro. Hopefully we can keep you entertained. Hopefully uh, I don't get on some of your nerves. But if I do get on some of your nerves, take a deep breath, count to 10, and just know more is coming. We got this GoPro on your boy. This is a six, seven height GoPro, you feel me? Dump it. Be right back. These clothes on the back of the door. I don't you know if this works right now. Hell no. I mean, it's, it's warm in here, super warm. It's hotter than Satan's balls in here. I think I'm gonna get a little cup, maybe a little bottle. Collect some of these beads of sweat. I think I'm gonna sell it to the OnlyFans, you feel me? You know, I'm gonna give some of this goodness away, you feel me? I'm gonna put a bid out, just see where it's gonna start at. I'm gonna start it for at least half a, half a meal. Just see if I get invited. Or do you want me to get up under my armpit first? What? A little pit sweat? Yeah, there's pheromones there. That's how it works. That's how it works. I'm fed up. Look it up. A little pit sweat. And I woo. And I woo. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! You're doing great. You're doing great, G. Griff has been working here for almost maybe a month. She's been crushing it, dude. She's been killing it. Is what I'm doing. She's on point with it. She ain't afraid to dive in anywhere. Just get after it. Rolls her sleeves up. So for all of y'all people be talking crazy about my girls to be working in here and doing our kind of work where all the people be talking crazy about my girls. And my girls hold it down. I go to war with my girls. They they get it popping. I'll take them over any dude any day. I'm telling you, dude. Yeah. That way. Gotta have fun with some stuff. This line of work we do, man, you gotta try to enjoy yourself, try to smile a little bit, try to shed a little light on something, man. Dude, Who being so negative out there, world? Did we have someone complaining that like they're laughing and joking about this? Like, ain't nobody laughing and joking about this. Just don't like the mood. This is not a good situation. So and if you don't like it, we gonna do more of it. That first one's free. That was fabulous. That was amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Aye. Aye. It's got a kiwi on it. I love kiwis. You know how big kiwis are? They're this big. They're massive. Whenever people pick a kiwi, they're like, oh, they're this big. I think, no, they're like the size of a fucking basketball. Awesome. I, mean, I love kiwis. We've just been talking a little bit, but I haven't even asked. How's the... That's the best cameraman in the world, dude. Where's my manners? It's okay, I'll let it fly. How, they, how you doing, bro? I'm all right, man. I'm happy yeah, to be here. here. Do you feel like you look? You look good. Aww. You feel like you look? Yeah. You look good. I'm okay.
him on the smooth. The what? Oh, wow. Break him on the smooth, man. I almost perfected it. I call it steering, steering up the coffee. I don't drink coffee, but you gotta steer it like motherfucking coffee. Was that yeah, let me move on. Like the new what they be doing? Hey, hey, That's girl, you got moves like that? That is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Gee, you got moves like that? Pop that thing, 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 pop
Yeah, like it was slimy. Yeah. Like he had a flood. Uh, his bathroom leaked. He actually told me it was like five years it was leaking. Oh my god. Alright. And we had to take the top it. Oh, it's so wet. Everything was just. It's stopping. Slimy. The, the french fries are seasoned. <laughs> they went too heavy on the seasoning for that one. It's just weird that the refrigerator is clean. <laughs> really? Nothing's in the fridge. Like, nothing at all. I went right to it because I saw the house and I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is going to be a good What one. about the garage though? Oh, I didn't open that one. Okay. But that one runs. Right, it's 2019. 9-28-2019. Doesn't look too bad. No, it doesn't look, it just looks like it's been hit, like sitting in the heat. It doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, go for it. What is it? I have no idea. Let's not find out. Mm -mm. Go like, no. no. I'm not that curious. Mm -mm. I don't know. Sure else he killed the cat, but it ain't getting me. Mm -mm. I not think, today! I think that was the cat. What's that? I think that was the cat. The curious. True. True. Hey everyone, my name is Eric, the new general manager here for the uh, Tampa franchise office. Awesome. Is this your first rodeo? Have you done this kind of work before? I have actually. Uh, in a prior life, uh, we were actually doing uh, bank repossessions for a family business. So I uh, kind of came across this uh, a few times in the past. Awesome. We're happy to have you, man. Thank you. Looking forward to working with everyone. What is that? Cheese? Thomas, this is what we're gonna do. Open it. <laughs> we need to get Eric on one of the like good for Yeah, I think I... one of the ones in the the garage is gonna be like that. The ones I used to do back in the day, they was that bad. I would just strap strap them shut and just take the whole fridge out. It wasn't worth. Yeah, playing. you can't do that in Florida. Really? Yeah, like you'll get fined. Like when we take a fridge to the dump, uh, we like you have to open it and prove it to them that it's empty. Otherwise, you have to empty it right there. Wow. So this is where. The squatters got in, broke the lock here, and squatter house rules. What's the date on that paper? May 8th, 1945. Truman and Churchill confirm surrender, taking effect at 5.01 p.m. Cincinnati time. I feel like everything in here should be kept and given to him. Yeah. Look at Telegram. Telegram. Yep. With the actual letter inside. That's crazy. I feel like I can go through this shit all day. Yeah. That's probably the trunk from back then too. Yeah, looks pretty old. And the third one. Where'd you find that, Griffin? I was sitting on the bed. It's a 45. It was just sitting on the bed? Yeah, I was just sitting in the trash. Is Oh, wow. It's kind of cute. Oh, it's adorable, isn't it? Hey, feet! I know you, like, push it and it pops out. Yeah, that's what... Is that the one you push up? And it... Yeah. There we go. Right. Thing is ready to go. Hollow points. These things would do some damage. Winchester 38. I found 2012 is wow. where I'm at. This looks old. This is insane. That's by December 2012. I know I've seen this, but like, old. <laughs> I told you that. Where is it? It was hopping around on the floor. It said, <laughs> it didn't even know. I didn't know it could move. Right, this, I'll grab it for you. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna grab it. I'm gonna try to grab it. What? You're gonna grab it? Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. Have you met this girl? <laughs> Come here, little buddy. Where'd it go? <laughs> Put it right here. Wait, by your head. There it is. I see it. There. Come here, little buddy. Come here. There it is. 
if say it went somewhere. There it went. I almost got. I almost got it. The thing is, I saw it on the floor and it went boing, 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 boing. Two hundred hand hurdles. In Dude, I could, I could do fucking hurdles. The England, the England Olympics, the 200 <laughs> high hurdles. That was hard. Hard. You said. <laughs> we all know what the high fucking need. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fiona, I got some here for you. Hey, you want me to try to grab it? No, don't touch it. Is it alive? I ain't finding out. Oh, that's a smaller one of the one that's on the ceiling. <laughs> no. Use a pansy. What's this? Hey, let the motherfucker get bit. Just let her get eaten. Just, you know, let her do a thing. Let her get bit. It's okay. Okay, that one's awesome, dude. Catch a griffin she's, just she's climbing she's the ceiling. She's a rat. A fucking spider. Griffin oh, yeah. turns into the fucking spider woman. She's yeah. like, oh, yeah. she's a goddamn rat. You know, she's a rat in it. Dude, you just gotta let her do it. Oh, man. Bubbles with that ass, you know. Good day for a swim. Even better day for a hot tub. Don't mind it. I do. Well, I really can't step out of the suit just yet. You little freaky devils, you. You gonna stir the coffee in the tub, huh? Oh, if I stir the coffee in the tub, I mean, I'm, I'm, my milkshake might bring all the girls to the yard. You know what I'm saying? So I better chill out. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I better calm down. I want to find out. <laughs> Seven-year-old snack cake? They're probably in good shape. No, they are not. 2015. Battery, her battery doesn't run down. No, that motherfucker is fully charged. You know it. I swear to God, if I come eye to eye with this four-legged little fuck. Dude, I'm gonna get it out of my be, head just because of the. I will be done. You are gonna. I feel like you're gonna accidentally. He's gonna stare at me, I'm gonna stare at him. And he looks at me. <laughs> and I'll look at him. Coin. And he looks at me. And I'll look at him. This is a coin. Hey, here's something from 2009. This is a coin from uh, the Goonies. He's busy with Fab right now. One Eye Willie. Really? I'm looking for you, One Eye Willie. Really. Goonies for life. So y'all didn't know about them Goonies. I'll let your boy. 1925. I was just a twinkle in my mom and dad's eye, It's a nightcap. Would you like a nightcap? Yeah. She got it a little too It would look good on you, actually. I know. That's not too bad. Fiona, have you seen the fridge in the garage yet? I have. It's, it's, a, it's a doozy. Have you smelled the deep freezer? No, I haven't opened it yet. So I opened the deep freezer and I was like, that's not bad at all. And then I closed it and I got a whiff of it and I didn't have a mask on. I almost gagged looking and I was at the like, oh. Just looking at the fridge, I had my respirator on, I almost I started gagging. That would be tomorrow. The fridge? Yeah. Like, why? Ew. All right, guys, so we're wrapping up day one uh, with the hoarding clean out for today. Uh, probably didn't do as well as we initially wanted to. But I would say under the circumstances, we did a lot better uh, than I actually thought that we would do uh, with the house flooding out and all the extra stuff that we had to take care of before we could actually start the clean out. So it's been an eventful day. I hurdled over Griffin, over a rat that decided to come up my leg. So I'm a lot more fit than I realized. <laughs> so that's a definitely a good sign. Completely filled our dump trailer today. So it actually cannot fit any more in it. Uh, therefore, we need to call it a day so we can empty the dump trailer so we can start fresh tomorrow. All right, see you guys. So from what I've seen, she bought a lot of shoes. She bought a lot of purses. She bought a lot of makeup. So yeah, this is, there's at least like maybe $100,000 worth of shoes in here. Not in here, but in the entire house. I mean, look, shoes, shoes, there's clothing. That's a purse. Shoes, I picked up a pair of shoes earlier that said $845 on it. Is it time? It is time. Bridge time with Fiona? It is the... Yo, I'm thinking about putting on a res actual res... Let me put on an actual respirator. Hold on. <laughs> is that bad, huh? Yeah. Let's check it out. See how bad it is. Oh, boy. It's only 2015. 
thing. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk? Chocolate milk. Here. Oh, God. I don't even know the date on this one. Most of these are easily five or six years old. I mean, oh, God. Uh, Roach just jumped on the tree. Yeah, the, uh, the laughing cow. Laughing cow cheese. Oh, God, gee. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one might get me. So, fun fact in Florida, even if we are getting rid of this whole fridge, it's against the law. Just throw it away with all the food in it. On uh, the dump, they make you show that it's empty before you dispose of it. So, no matter what, we have to dispose of everything in here in order to get rid of the fridge. Get it, what? Uh, oh, it's brown. Okay, that's that's pretty on par with most of the eggs we find, actually. That's, oh my god, that's chocolate milk. Uh. Oh, uh, what is that? What was it? It's like it was a steak that, like, melted. Oh, God. Oh, this looks like shit. Oh, it's so good. It really does. Oh, coleslaw, potato salad. Potato salad. Uh. Maggot carcass piles. Uh, Ben and Jerry's? <laughs> yup. What kind was it? Cherry Garcia? Cherries and fudge flakes? Yeah, Cherry Garcia. You know your ice cream. I know my Ben and Jerry's, baby. <laughs> Alright, we got a lot of Sonic old milkshake cups in here. This is pretty typical for what a hoarder's fridge will look like, especially if they kind of let go and, and uh, stop having uh, electricity or can't pay their bills and stuff like this. They just keep buying stuff even though they can't really store it properly. Publix deli meat. Oh my god. That's right. Uh, oh my. Oh my. Oh <laughs> This one's making me gag. Oh man. What, it, what was that? Was that soda? Yeah. Why did it disintegrate like that? It's crazy. Oh, some English muffins. There's a roach. Oh god, yeah. So we got, we got a big roach right here. Goo. He's a big boy. Wow. This fridge, we're not sure how long it's been completely untouched, but we're finding food from easily six, seven years ago, probably a decade ago. Rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken? Yeah. Just devoured by maggots and roaches. Uh, oh, 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 God. <laughs> this one's, this one's getting me. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I quit, I quit. Oh, man. Keep oh. it up, keep it up. I got, I'm being told to eat by... Right? It's not bad. Okay. Oh, God, so that's so bold. Wait till the smell hits you. Oh, God. You <laughs> smell it? Yeah, it's right? like a weird... Oh. It's a wave that takes a while. Frozen mold. So this is turned on. This stone is pretty new. Yeah. There you go. Keep going over the same time. Oh. Even with this turned on, it looks like the power is not as strong and it's not completely frozen anymore. Mm -mm. Chicken breast? That's gross. What do you think that? Chicken breast. Oh, there's our chicken breast. Do you find this job fun? People are um, asking. It's always different, so it keeps it interesting. It is fun. You gotta, you gotta make it fun. Yeah. Oh, They're all inside. Roach City. They're, They're inside, inside the can. See it? Yeah. Oh my God. There's a lot. What do you want me to do with it? Open it? Yeah. Yeah. Show him the inside. Ah! Go crawl up my fucking thigh back, you nasty little bastard. Son of a Nice and pulpy. 2015. There's no mold on these, but there's so much mold in that back room. Give me a sec. All the rats just um, peed and shit all over this stuff, man. Then you got mold from the ceiling, stuff fell on the clothes. You see how yellow and a little bloating and piss is all along the clothes? 
finished. Everything's pretty much done, dude. Leather, maybe uh, a little short. I might have to cut the ass out of them. Make some champs. They're um, all of these. Like these are like, I I saw a pair of shoes in here. They were like eight hundred dollars. I just threw one out. That was one hundred and fifty on clearance. These are pretty expensive. But yeah, these are like all water damage. Uh, I haven't seen these in forever. Like, that's crazy to me. Okay, cool. It is. There's a lot of vintage stuff in here, though. Yeah, there's some cool stuff. Cool like clocks. The, the chair. Chair, yeah. It's like an old baby chair. Yeah. Trying to do the stroll. You know what? We need the soundtrack to like, uh, God. Do the Wicked of Oz. Yeah. Ooh. Move this ladder. Just grab that right there. Get that push on. All right, guys. So, we just got done uh, with the whole job. So, it took us two days. It has been hot, it has been humid, it has been wet outside and inside the home. But we were able to get everything done that the client wanted us to get out. So even with the hiccups that we started with, we were still able to accomplish the job in a timely manner. So that's definitely good. Pretty much became friends with the rats because they pretty much live here. What was different with this hoard uh, in comparison to a majority of the hoards that we do this one, we didn't perform a deep clean uh, post hoard cleanup. So I highly recommend following up with the hoarding with a deep clean. Helps get the, the stench out, helps obviously the floors get dirty during the clean out itself. It just helps kind of like bring the home back together again, like as a home. Uh, this one, client didn't opt for a deep clean. Uh, I believe it was for financial reasons, but uh, we did try to leave it as clean as we can you know, within reason, but I would I would definitely recommend a deep clean, always, to be honest with you. Do you know what's gonna happen with this house at all, as far as they're gonna move back in or sell it or? Contents that are remaining in the home, uh, I wanna say like a good 80% of it is like antique vintage stuff. They're gonna be doing an estate sale and then they are selling the property, I believe, uh, is what the guardian had told me yesterday. So the house has been in the family for like two or three generations. But you know, it's just time for someone else to make it a home now. See you guys. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.